on transcending the insubordinate mind of religion and science. All modes of human religion and science are point of view based systems of presumed knowledge that prescribe and limit what is known and define what is allowable to be known. All modes of human religion and science are attempts to tribalize and thus to localize and control knowledge such that it characterizes and protects a political, a collective political, social and cultural mode of religion, mode of mind. All modes of human religion and science are systematic patterns of mind that are impulsed to acquire or assimilate particular subjects or conceptually and perceptually identify pattern fields of apprehension in order by objectifying, naming, categorizing, symbolically representing and systematically interiorizing and enclosing them to appropriate, exploit, control, replace and ultimately eviscerate and annihilate them. All modes of human religion and science are tribal artefacts of the human ego world of presumed psychophysically separate identities, wherein the will to survive by competitive efforts demonstrates itself by acts of will in order to dominate the subjects or patterns that are conceived and perceived as threats to collective and by implication individual and even personal survival pleasure well-being and independence. All modes of human religion and science seek to dominate both non-conditional or divine and conditional or temporal and spatial subjects by substituting ideas, either by means of sacred conceptual or perceptual language such as, such as deity, myths and otherwise religious modes of philosophical language or by means of secular conceptual or perceptual language such as materiality myths and otherwise scientific modes of philosophical language. All modes of human religion or science including all deity myths or god ideas and all materiality myths or objective reality ideas are artefacts of the human ego effort to protect and extend the local interests of human collectives by means of idea invocation, wherein and whereby reality itself, which is intrinsically egoless, indivisible, non-separate, and merely a causally present as the context of all apparently arising conditions, is identified as an opponent, objectified as an other, invoked as an ally, indulged and exploited as a captive, and, at last, desecrated and destroyed as a convicted criminal and victim. Reality itself cannot be known, controlled or destroyed. Reality itself is not a deity or a material entity or an object of any kind. Reality itself is self-evidently divine and all in all must be intrinsically and perfectly subordinated to reality itself in order thus and thereby to realize intrinsic and perfectly subjective coincidence and perfect self-apprehension or intrinsic self-apperception of the perfectly egoless and absolutely non-dual self-nature, self-condition and self-state that is reality itself.